So as you think about transitioning from role models, who are some of your mentors that have continued to support you in this graceful and fun journey? You know, I have been so blessed. I think about my entire career, um, amazing educators that I had the opportunity to work with um, and amazing principals when I was a teacher, in powers of invitation, tapping me on the shoulder and paving the way and giving me um, just opportunities to grow and to learn. Uh, but I think about what shaped me, um, perhaps mostly for the seat in which I'm serving right now, is a female mentor, a fellow administrator whose name is Ying Ying Chen. Uh, Ying, uh, incredible, relentless, relentless advocate for kids. Uh, but if some of my mantras have come from Ying, and one of those was always, you are smart, you are, you are powerful, you are intelligent, you are passionate leaders. I know the answer is in the room. We don't have to necessarily always go somewhere else to find it. Let's use each other. Let's think together around what we believe for kids. The answer is in the room. We can find it and we can get there together. Um, always uh, sending articles my way and encouraging and such a great coach. She always asked great questions for reflection after even after a, a successful professional learning day, perhaps that we designed together, at the end of the day, Ying didn't necessarily want to celebrate. She wanted to sit down and say, what was great about today? What could we do better next time? And always learning. Um, we lost her a couple of years ago to cancer, um, but um, the influence she had in particularly this community, she's in a, was in a, a fellow a school district that I worked in as well called College Community. And she, her footprint is still everywhere there and a, a great architect of design and of learning and advocacy.